Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me today. Do like four of them sped up and then it finally ends with one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of whatever this is. Today we will be comparing and reviewing tripods. What are tripods? Merriam-Webster defines tripods as a three-legged stand. However, I think of them as much more than that. I think of them as your, your friend or your ally, you know, when you're out there alone. Your, your slave, you could say. Because, you know, how many other people are willing to just, to just stand there and hold stuff for you for days? Name, name one person. I'll wait. Anyway, we can just jump right into it. We'll start out with the Economist pick. We have here a hybrid tripod. If you purchase the Bog tripod from Amazon or wherever you get your Chinese stuff, you're going to spend $210. Then you're going to go to my friends at Zero Fox Given. They make a neat adapter to convert the bog tripod into a ball head tripod. This brings the price up to a little under 350. However, you get a ball headed tripod, a ball headed carbon fiber tripod, as well as the saddle head, which is not a bad price considering tripods. Tripods can cost upwards to two grand realistically. Anyway, with the Bog tripod you get a carbon fiber, relatively lightweight tripod, like I said, the ball head, the saddle. Uh, I'll put statistics below on each tripod so I don't have to read them all out to you guys, but basically this is your best bang for your buck. You're spending around 350 and you're getting something that's going to make your life easier. Our next tripod on the list is going to be the Zero Fox Given. Uh, I believe this is the Bridger tripod. This just came out. I like Zero Fox Given because they will offer you a tripod like this without a huge markup like the other companies out there. I won't point fingers, I reckon. But with the Zero Fox Given tripod, you're getting a really stable it's on the bigger side of tripods, but if you're looking for like precision shooting or hunting, if you're gonna be carrying it around in a car or a razor or on a quad, it's not too it's not too heavy. You're gonna to have to purchase the tripod and ball head separately. This is the I believe 52 millimeter ball head. I like the I like big balls, essentially they're they're more stable than than little ones you know what you know what you're gonna get out of it you don't have to worry that they're gonna break down on you Bridger tripod is a four section tripod and this thing is just huge it gets taller than me but with the four section tripod it breaks down or it collapses to the shortest length of all the tripods compared here today if you haven't heard of Zero Fox Given, definitely check them out. They're my favorite tripod brand right now. There are better tripods out there, but not at as competitive of a price. The Bridger tripod is a thick boy. Um, it is the heaviest tripod on our list, which means it's going to be the most stable. Um, it's got this quick detach system here for the head. Nice hook for the counterweight down here. On most of these tripods, you can swap out the rubber boots for um, spikes if you live on Hoth. The Bog tripod actually comes with spikes integrated. On this particular Zero Fox Given tripod, the uh, Arca clamp is a Arca and Picatinny hybrid clamp, which is pretty cool, so you can mount multiple objects to that. Uh, comparatively, on the Vortex and the Zero Fox, tripod here. The Bog tripod has these weird, this weird lock system. I don't, I don't particularly like it. It gets knocked up and stuck all the time. 
whereas these are super crisp, easy to use, and will not get stuck. The next tripod on our list is the Vortex Switchback. This is a excellent tripod. If you have deeper pockets, I would go with this option. Um, I just like it for the weight. They're really, it's really lightweight and it's fast. For my application, which is literally just like, I guess, coyote hunting off an e-bike, I like something lightweight that I can fit in my backpack. It's not gonna weigh me down. I can deploy it quickly. That's another thing when it comes to photography, honestly, a heavier tripod is gonna have better results for a more crisp image, the, more, the better stability. Hold on. I have an interaction going on here. Wop wop, what are you doing? All right, anyway. Our final tripod for you guys is the Bushcraft tripod here. At a mere $25, the Bushcraft tripod is going to be the cheapest tripod on the list, as well as the lightest, almost, I don't know. I don't have a really good way to weigh this, this way, this one. All you're going to need for the Bushcraft tripod is sticks, jute, I reckon, maybe some screws, and a, uh, I think it's, um, don't quote me on this, but like a 36 millimeter bolt to run through the base plate here into the ball head. Purchase a $20 Amazon ball head and you are in business, baby. This thing is a contender. It's, um, it's tall, it's sturdy, it's got a good weight uh, strength to weight ratio. As you can see, it works just like any other tripod here. Just fine. Um, bushcraft tripod. If you don't have sticks in your area, uh, perhaps uh, that your final option would be the government supplied tripod. Sometimes you see them pop up on the side of the road. They'll be neon colors. Uh, they go quick though. So check in the early hours of the morning. Those ones are, um, those ones are great. They're uh, just don't get caught. Anyway, that's tripods. The more you know, choose wisely. My advice is take your time, really research all of the information there is on them and what your use case is. Maybe you just need a bushcraft tripod, you know, you leave it out in the rain, it's just ready to go out in your front yard. This one, that's what its purpose is. It just chills out out in the lawn and if I see a coyote I can run out, mount up, take the shot. Um, you don't want to leave your $600 Vortex tripod out in the front yard, you know, it'll get stolen. You know, so what do you need it for? Are you going to Antarctica and it needs to survive for the journey or are you just taking pictures at your cousin's wedding that you don't really like, you know? I mean, That's all I have for you guys. If you, if I left anything out, you have any questions, comment below. I will try to answer it. Um, choose wisely and good luck on your journey. Take care, guys. Just really quick, I didn't want you guys to miss out on this killer sunset. Life is good, don't forget that.